Remediation, the children, the girl, the vacuum effect of the parents not being in the girl's life is far more catastrophic than in the boy's life. Girl power, empowerment, and women's rights are the things you will hear about as you grow into a woman you are destined to be. As you start your life, it will not be easy for you because of the harmful teachings and thoughts regarding the fact that you are female. However, please know that you are beautiful and intelligent no matter the circumstances. You are essential. Society once adored you from the beginning, and there are so many great opportunities in store for you. First, if you have your father or dad in your life, please take the time to discern if his being in your life has been positive or negative. If your father has been your dad, you are blessed because you were shown unconditional love and respect from the first man in your life. The impact of having a father in your life almost determines how your relationship with the man will be. Your parents are so important. Their jobs are to protect and nurture your presence so your future can be successful. Each parent has an invaluable impact on you because of their role in your life. The mother is responsible for loving you, providing information and a relationship with you tightly and without hesitation. Consequently, this allows you to understand the intricacies of being around other women. There is a saying that women are catty or jealous of each other. Well, If that is true, then your relationships with girls might also reflect that. Therefore, if you encounter these types of people in your life, run. Many of your experiences will be enjoyable because being a young lady in this world has so many great things to offer. You are living in the best and brightest times for humankind. Each of us has opportunities to get a college education, start your own business, and find your purpose. You have the ability to change your destiny. Unfortunately, if you have experienced the vacuum effect of not having a father in your life, you do not have to make that vacuum effect negative. Other male role models can step in and protect and cover you through life. Frequently, that would be a stepfather, uncle, or cousin. These men should have exhibited love and empathy for you as a child, a teen, and young lady. However, some people will come into your life to destroy or exploit you for their personal gain. It is a fact that sex trafficking of girls and boys in the 2000s have grown considerably to become one of the most lucrative enterprises in the world. According to a 2020 online statistic from an organization called Guardians Group stated the following. Human trafficking is a modern day form of slavery. Victims of human trafficking are subjected to force, fraud, and coercion for the purpose of sexual exploitation or forced labor. Victims are young children, teenagers, men, and women. After drug dealing, human trafficking is tied with the illegal arms industry as the second largest criminal industry in the world today. And it is the fastest growing. The Trafficking Victims Protection Act of 2000 identifies severe forms of trafficking in persons as sex trafficking, the recruitment, harboring, transportation, provision, or obtaining of a person for the purpose of a commercial sex act. 
in which a commercial sex act is induced by force, fraud, or coercion, or in which a person forced to perform such an act is under the age of 18 years old. Or point two, labor trafficking, the recruitment, harboring, transportation, provision, or obtaining of a person for labor or services through the use of force, fraud, or coercion for the purpose of subjection to involuntary servitude, peonage, debt bondage, or slavery. Trafficking victims approximately 600,000 to 800,000 victims annually are trafficked across international borders worldwide and between 14,500 and 17,500 of those victims are trafficked into the U.S. according to the U.S. Department of State. These estimates include women, men, and children. Victims are generally trafficked into the U.S. from Asia, Central and South America, and Eastern Europe. Many victims trafficked into the United States do not speak and understand English and are therefore isolated and unable to communicate with service providers, law enforcement, or others who might be able to help them. The best way to identify if a male has your best interest at heart after your father has left your life is how a male person tries to help you in a way that makes you feel comfortable and safe. However, there is a difference between how a man cares for you rather than a man who is grooming you for personal reasons and sex trafficking. It is unfortunate that in today's society, there is an instance when you will find a woman who will also take advantage of you in the same manner as a man. Meaning, there will be times in your life when you will be confronted with the choice to explore different things and emotions that are contrary to what you may have been exposed to. Please understand that your value is excellent and you are meant to be loved in the right way, authentic and natural way without deviation or alteration. Your worth as a girl and woman personifies grace and empathy because these are the qualities you learn from interacting with your parents. Fortunately, this allows you to tap into the nurturing part of your heart and desires to invest in someone else emotionally. Girl, know that you are of high quality and value because you are created to procreate and love unconditionally. You are whom you present to the world. Yes, there will be other people who will come into your life only to try to destroy your beauty, confidence, and joy. Do not allow anyone to steal those great qualities. Remember, that there is a supernatural force out there whose only mission is to destroy the woman you are to become. I was reading in the Bible when I was able to read an interesting scripture that said the exact words that are being played out in life as we grow into our purpose. It read these words, The thief does not come except to steal and kill and to destroy. I have come that they might have life and they might have it more abundant. That's found in John, the 10th chapter, in the 10th verse. This scripture is very pertinent to your path because there will always be a thief that will come into your life to rob you of something. Do not allow people, places, or things to rob you of your joy and peace. It is essential to know that this is a part of life. And you must find balance and discernment when you attempt to make friends or allow anyone into your concentric circle. 
as it relates to scripture, the thief is talking about the supernatural forces that will come against you just because you desire to have a clean and virtuous life. Many will see this as impossible or too sanctimonious, but it is not. This shows that you have far more respect for yourself and your surroundings. You are beautifully made and your body is a cherished gift only you can value. Your actions as a woman add value to who you are. Your body, mind, and spirit were created to elevate others around you as you elevate yourself. Giving yourself in love and intimacy is a declaration of commitment. And being committed means you are willing to have soul ties with that person. Remember, every time you are engaged in love or natural feelings, soul ties with that person remains in your spirit and DNA. Therefore, please know your worth and whom you are putting into your body. Many will come around because they were sent to subdue and to distinguish your spirit. The best way to do this is through your emotional and intimate attachment to them. Moreover, understand that you are more than someone's opinion of you and your circumstance. The vacuum effect of not having a mother or father in your life will leave you searching for the closeness and relationship that was lacking. But please know that God will send you to a person that will embrace who you are and love and accept you for who you are. You do not have to remake or submit to anyone who appears to have more than you or has more material things. That is often the trick of the enemy to persuade you to let your emotional guard down. Thus, you will begin to hear the smooth talk and the grand promises of a man or woman who will try to promise you safety and protection only to impose their will on your life later. Beware of the person who comes to you with enticing words and smiling gestures. Stay on the path of purpose and happiness. Do not allow others to tell you what is best for you without first discerning if you think it's essential for your future. Also, please know that the lust of the eyes is real and dangerous. You may one day meet a male who looks attractive and appealing. He has a charismatic charm and personality only to gradually become controlling, abusive, dismissive, and violent. My prayer is to know your worth and purpose before meeting any man or young boy. Ask questions about his family, their history, how he treats his mother and siblings, and finally, pay close attention to how his mood changes when he faces adversity or stress. These accurately indicate how they will react to adult problems or rough times when testing them. They will need you far more than you need them. I'm saying this so that you understand that every man desires to have a legacy of or children to solidify them as men on earth. And they cannot attain this specific goal without you. Therefore, know your worth. And believe that you are more than just an object of affection or lust. You are important and you are exceptional in every way. Thus, you must hold yourself in the highest esteem without waver or fear. I remember an old proverb that asked a great question regarding women. It's a great question that makes women assess who they are and the character projection they may be putting forth in the world. In other words, what people see when they look at them. The Proverbs asks, Who can find a virtuous woman? For her price is far above rubies. According to this Proverbs, a virtuous woman presents distinctive character traits that make her invaluable and priceless to those around her. 
the qualities are she loves God, she is peaceful, she speaks with wisdom, she is trustworthy, she is diligent, she is supportive, she has a purpose, she nurtures, she is tactful, she has self-esteem and self-worth, she is non-combative, and she loves herself. Additionally, it is vital for a woman to know and understand the signs of abuse in an abusive relationship. Many beautiful women have lost their lives due to domestic violence and fear. Attention must be paid to the life and lifestyle of the girl as she grows into her womanhood. She needs a circle of friends and family members who will protect and shield her from the evil actions of the world. Each girl is vibrant and a tender flower that needs protection from bad influences and evil people. Studies have shown that women are more aware of their emotions and feelings than men. Men are logical and women are emotional, and their emotions may lead them into situations that are not healthy or promising for them. Most women will accept a person at their word and emotionally invest in someone who shows them interest and a willingness to care for them. However, sometimes we must look at the fruits they offer. A remarkable passage in the Bible provides a great analogy of the tree and unsuspecting evil. For a good tree does not bear bad fruit, nor does a bad tree bear good fruit. For every tree is known by its fruit. For men do not gather figs from thorns, nor do they gather grapes from a bramble bush. A good man out of the good treasure of his heart brings forth good, and an evil man out of the evil treasure of his heart brings forth evil. For out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. That's found in Luke 6, chapter 43rd through the 45th verse. So if a person is in your life and constantly speaking negatively, choose to remove that person from your circle. The passage just says, For out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks, lets you know that if a person verbally abuses you or emotionally shows you that they do not care for you, this is coming from their heart, how they feel. And it is time to really pay attention to what they are showing and saying to you in a sly or joking manner, because 90% of it is coming from the heart and how they truly feel. Additionally, to keep growing up into a lady, you may have to separate yourselves from the past friends or relatives in your life to grow and flourish. Therefore, knowing this and being aware of the people surrounding you can help. As I reflect on the passage in the Bible, it gave great insight into the people's mindset and the decisions we will have to make. I recall it speaking to our spiritual, emotional, and mental characteristics, which tell us, for all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life is not of the Father, but of this world. You may often desire to love the things of this world meaning the beauty products that allow you to change the appearance, shape, and style that God created you to look. However, this may not be for reasons other than medical. You are trying to look like the latest fashion or fad for women. I say to you, be yourself. You are wonderfully made and your beauty is unique. Don't settle for a look that everyone has. Conformity is not uniqueness. You have an amazing talent and originality that God has given only to you. 
When trials come in your path, do not second guess the purpose and destiny God has shown you to fulfill. Your heart and mind must remain guarded through learning how to be a woman of God and a woman God is pleased with. Although you will make mistakes and follow your emotions in a way that may place you in a complicated situation, young lady, be encouraged and strengthen your belief in God. These are trying times, and the enticements of learning other spiritual things will seem exciting and rewarding. Still, I say that your faith and spirituality involve a personal relationship and commitment. Therefore, understand, research, and gather as much information as you need to make an informed decision. Remember, everything that shines is not gold. If it looks good, it may not be good. You are an overcomer of the vacuum effect because you continue to open your heart to mentorship and companionship. Trust your instincts and allow your relationship with God to grow so the scripture passage can remain in your heart and thoughts as it says, Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not to your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge Him and He shall direct your paths. It's found in Proverbs 3rd chapter, 5th and the 6th verse. Trust God always and seek God's guidance before committing to anyone or anything.